there, my name is Stephen from Dynamic Elements and today we're going to introduce you to two new members of the Furuno family, namely the GP1971F and the 1871F. These are both uh, GPS map plotters, uh, you can also incorporate a radar into them. Um, they have very, very nice features and we're going to just introduce you to them and take you through a brief run through of how they work. As we all know, Furuna have always built uh, very, very high quality machines uh, with the 1971 and 1871F. They've kept the unit very user friendly um, and by, by doing that, they've actually incorporated the what I like to refer to as the Android touchscreen system. So just like your cell phone, if you would want to zoom in and out, you would just take your finger and you, you would pinch the screen or open your fingers up and you can zoom in and out. That is one of the nice features about this unit and it's very, very seamless. Also on your touch screen, what you'll see is if you want to get to any menu on the side, you just drag it across. So on your plotter, you can use your, your ruler, you can go to your tide stations, you can actually create an event or a mark by doing that. If you drag it from left to right, you can see your position, your course of the ground and speed of the ground. Those boxes are actually, or you can edit those boxes to your preferences. You can then just drag it away. You can also, from the top, you can get to any of the other screens that you uh, would like to get to. Example, if you wanted to go to the echo sounder, you would just click on the echo sounder and there you would have your echo sounder in front of you. This unit specifically, we haven't got on a simulation. We've actually got a transducer lying in a drum of water, so that's why we got all those red lines there. But this is the same feature as the plotter. So if you want to zoom in out, you just, you can either expand your fingers or you can zoom in and out. The very nice thing about this unit is that while it's sounding, you can actually scroll back on the screen left and right. So there you can see, I've actually, there's a fish that has come up over there. So if I want to go there and I'd like to go back to where that fish was, I just click on it. It asks me, do you want to go to a wait, go to that waypoint? I click on go to and it will automatically take me to that waypoint. The back end menu system is very, very simple. Uh, you, your main screen you can add and take screens away so for example if I wanted to add a screen I'll just click on the plus button and you can select your various screen formats there either a full screen split screen or a three split screen so let's say for example we want a three split, split screen we could just then take your plotter and we drag it across to the big to the big uh, the big setting and then you could take your fish finder to the top there and you can take your data to there done click OK your screen is set there it is over there you click on it and now you've got your plotter fish finder and data so they've they've made it very very simple and easy to use these two systems uh, are we've just been playing them for about a week or so we will be writing a blog on them as well uh, which you'll be able to read on our website at uh, www.dynamicelements.co.za we're very very excited about these machines I think they're going to be, they leaps and bounds ahead of their time. Uh, one of the nice things about them as well is that you can also add a radar, the Furuno wireless radar, which works on all it needs is power and it actually wirelessly connects to either of these machines and can give you radar output. So yeah, keep an eye on our website, keep an eye on the blog and we will also be doing a live demonstration uh, once we fit one of these, these uh, units to uh, a vessel and we'll take you through the whole thing more and more in depth. But yeah, let's see how it goes.